Now, activities of illegal miners continue to hamper the daily operations of the Ghana Water Company Limited Treatment Plants in Achimoda, Chebi, Bunsu and Osino in the eastern region as the company's treatment plants now operate for nine hours instead of 24 hours due to the worsening state of raw water sources. City News' Naomi Amate Kanaku, who visited the Osino Water Station, met illegal miners mining just about 200 meters away from the extraction points, a situation which has forced management to shut down the plant. When City News reached the extraction point for the Ghana Water Company Limited at Osino Treatment Station, the low lifter, the machine dedicated to extracting raw water from the Brim River for onward treatment, had been shut down due to the activities of illegal miners. To our surprise, a chamfan was actively engaging in illegal small-scale mining, popularly known as Galamse, just 200 meters away from the extraction point. More than eight people were busily working at the site as the sound of the chamfan disturbed the whole neighborhood. Maxwell Bwachi lives just a couple of meters away from the Brim River, close to the extraction point of the Osino Water Station. He tells me that he built his first house 40 years ago using the Brim River, but now, the raw water cannot be used for anything meaningful. Because because <laughs> It's over 40 years. So, and son of everybody, see, we see, in so, in so, according to residents, the illegal miners operate a shift system as they mine day and night. Some residents who are equally worried by the situation also spoke to City News. I'm a person, a cook room. I just say, in so, I say, no. And I'm a person, I'm a pretty fine, not just some way, I'm a demo crono. Then so, so, oh, shit, Mercury near the idea, I call in so we may not say, oh, sign day, at the money pass on no more. I think, say, at the yare and a bed bread was in no mind. A hard drink, a hard drink, yeah, not because they didn't know Emma and Cofon, a boot to me, Basset, ah, I didn't know, did the airs and I'm wound to me and so on. And so, yeah, so, yeah, Cassa and Ruby, yeah. Intina, I was set more buying. Free in Suno, Free Niti, a sorrow, a neighbor. Free Chibiquan, a sorrow, a neighbor. A barby drew soon and loosen us once while just there, no, they are caught to us wearing them. I just see a come once and more can can you know me ever hanging and crop for a chassis? I was no former move, I am here, yes, a German. Oka counselor, any age, you would be a man, you see, and two boys. Obey me, be a man, and two go sunk a crank a crank. The assemblyman for Osino, Opoku Dixon, says they have exhausted all avenues in the Galamse fight. Very worrisome because the people are continuing mining at the place where we, we are just draining our water from. But we are still working towards it. Even yesterday, for instance, I went to our DC complaining about the same issue. And this issue is above my control, so I always take on, uh, any authority from them. So. He tells me plans are far advanced to mobilize the community for a face-off with illegal miners who are operating within the buffer of the Ghana Water Company treatment plant. Yes, that one day, I'm even thinking about that. Even that's the most reason why even my dad here is complaining about the same issue. It is too worried because the people here are always complaining about the water that they will be drinking. 
and due to the road that they were constructing at this place, they broke our water source. So we were even more than a year, there were no water at this place. The Osino water station has the capacity to pump 100 cubic meters for treated water per day, but is now only doing 60 cubic meters. Out of the 24 hours designed for their equipment to operate, it is now engaging only nine hours a day as the current 3,000 NTU turbidity of the raw water can damage Ghana Water Company Limited's equipment, as opposed to the expected 500 NTU needed to pump raw water for treatment. According to management of the Ghana Water Company Limited in the Eastern Region, its installations at Akemoda, Chebi, Bunsu and Osino water treatment stations are seriously at risk. I've been experiencing turbidity of more than 5,000, 7,000, so you can imagine. So when it happens like that, it's like then the, the salt in the water is such that, as soon as you say, like some, some people will say, oh, ice kinky. So you cannot, you cannot um, use the water. And so that is the situation there. At risk. They are at risk. You see, for us, the, the concern is the quality of the raw water, which I mean, when it, 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 our now which, which is getting bad, or it is getting to the worst situation, it means we have to increase the, I mean, the cost of production, especially with chemicals. Then we also looking at the quantity of the water. You see, if at a point in time we don't get the, the I mean, I mean, the raw water, we cannot produce. Kwaju Dasi, who speaks for the Water Company Limited in the Eastern Region, believes water may soon become a scarce commodity if immediate measures are not enforced by government and all other stakeholders. But stakeholders don't come on board to save the situation. In fact, we are heading towards that, 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 that stage. And I, I pray or we pray that all of us, sometimes the, the, fight, the fight can be, oh, government, the state. But those of us who are beneficiaries of, of this scarce commodity, which other countries are suffering from, we, we all have to come on board. We all have to come on board because sometimes I see, if you say we use about government, what about we, the locals, the indigents? I mean, that water is where maybe when we are going to farm, we, we fetch some and take it to the farm to go and work. But now you get there and the water is so bad that you cannot fetch or you cannot even get the, 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 the river, you cannot see the river again to leave, let alone fetch. So, I mean, in fact, it's a, it's a serious concern. If you can see just about 200 meters away, over there, just about 200 meters away. You can even hear from the microphone, from the sounds. A number of people are actively engaging in illegal mining. You can hear the sounds, the noise from the Shanfan machine they are using to mine illegally here. I can count close to eight people currently on site, busily working here. And these activities have become the main threat for the Ghana Water Company Limited here in the Eastern Region. And as a matter of fact, those working at the Bunsu, the Osino pump station, they are worried because they are spending a lot of money to treat the water they give out to their consumers here in Osino. They believe government should ensure that illegal mining becomes a thing of the past by instituting drastic and robust measures to clamp down on activities of Galamseyes. For City News, Neo Ni Amate Kanaku, Osino.